hi and welcome back to another retro remake review today we are looking at the rangers home shirt from 1996 to 1997 as you can see this has got the name paul gascoigne on the back and number eight it comes in an adidas bag nothing else on that side and on the flip side we have our usual health warnings So this shirt took 10 days to arrive, which I think you'll agree is the norm for the ones that I buy, but is also fantastic. So before we get this bag open and have a look at the shirt, if you do like this content, then obviously hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I do these reviews on a weekly basis. So any questions or comments below, please leave them and I will always respond. If there's any shirts you want me to look at, then also please let me know and I'll look at getting hold of them. So thank you very much and let's get the bag open and have a look at the shirt. So as we start looking at the collar, this has got a proper collar on it. I do like shirts with a proper collar. Like a little V-neck there. And also another part of the collar. This one's got a little bit of frame material on it, but nothing too bad at all. Jumping down to the Adidas. It doesn't look too bad, a little bit of loose stitching in there, but on a whole it's okay. Got some stripes down there, which is all in part of the material and the sleeve lines look good. The Glasgow Rangers badge, again, a bit like the Adidas, a little bit of loose threading in there, but nothing too drastic. And the stitching under the arm looks okay. McEwan's Lager is a raised like texture, which has been heat pressed on, like a velvety sort of feel. And as we jump to the bottom of the shirt, there is also a Rangers Football Club Ready official garment. Although trademarks, it's got an X in it. I don't know whether that's correct, but it looks a bit weird actually, doesn't it? Marks. I assume it should be a K, but maybe that's how it was on the shirt. If anybody knows, then please let me know below. Um, I'd like to know. The hem line itself looks absolutely fine. So let's have a look at the back. So carrying along the collar line looks really good. A little bit of loose stitching there, a bit of excess stitching, shall I say, but that's nothing too bad. A little bit of material's got a little bit loose there. And there we have the gas one. This is vinyled on. And the number eight is also vinyled on. That's a gap in the material there, so just where the added ass is. But that feels like it's been put on really well. Look at the bottom of the hemline. All looks good. Okay, flipping on to the inside. Here we have quite a bit of loose or excess stitching and material from where the collar line is, which we get quite used to on some of these shirts. And a lot of this excess material here on the Rangers badge, and to be fair, the Adidas has got quite a lot on it as well, a lot of excess stitching. Look at the stitching on the sleeves, a little bit of loose stitching there. The underarm looks absolutely spot on. And this side again, excess stitching sticking out. Oh, there's quite a bit there as well, look. But the underarm looks fine. So I think if you're wearing this one playing football, you'd be absolutely fine. This is where we had our trade marks. And that's been sewn on, and that's not too bad actually. Here we have our usual washing instructions. So this is a DHK shirt, so hand wash only, and make sure you have it inside out. Here we can see where the McEwan's lager has been heat pressed on, and that looks really nice actually. Nice and smooth, no concerns whatsoever. So yeah, pretty good. There's quite a little bit of excess stitching on there but all in all i think so far the shirt is good okay on the flip side excess stitching there the rest of the collar line looks fine although again on that corner we've got a little bit there we do have our adidas tags and this is going to be a size xl but as it's a dhk shirt this is going to be more like a large our tags are the standard adidas ones and the performance with the jersey mark on there and there you can see our sizing Move that out of the way. Oh, there you go. Look, there's the XL under under the tag. Where the gas going print is, that is really smooth. 
So that's been put on well, and so has the number eight, and put on nicely. Jump into the bottom of the hemline. Again, looks good. It does look good. Bit of stitching down there, all looks nice and secure. And so does this side. Yeah, it's looking good. So this is definitely an iconic shirt for an iconic player. And I like it. I like the fact that you've got the Rangers crest in the material there. I think that looks really nice. So yeah, this gets good marks for me. As I say, lead time was about 10 days, which I think is, is amazing, to be fair. And these retro ones always look a lot better than the newer ones. They seem to just... I don't know, they just seem to have better workmanship on them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit the like button. Let me know what your thoughts are of this shirt. And maybe you can tell me whether this marks should be a K or if it is meant to be an X. Because I don't know. Um, also, leave any comments below of any shirts you'd like me to review. I'm always happy to see what you guys want to see. And please do make sure you subscribe to my channel as I do these reviews on a weekly basis. And we've got quite a few shirts now uploaded already. So hopefully there's something there that's been useful to you. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.